Welcome back guys, in this video I will be showing you how to use the int8 version of FSR for upscaler in conjunction with XCSS or FSR frame gen. With XCSS frame gen, XCSS low latency mode will work and with FSR frame gen anti lag 2 will work. We will be using OptiScaler mod to achieve this. We will test the game on my raw gala that comes with Windows 11, Radeon 780M GPU based on RDNA 3 architecture. This game has a hidden DLSS frame generation setting and it also comes with a few streamlined files streamlined version 2.2 so we can use DLSSG via streamline as the frame generation source in OptiScaler to enable XCSS or FSR frame gen unfortunately games hard elements will flicker when using FSR frame generation this way but no flickering will occur when you use XCSS frame gen which is recommended we'll be running the PC game pass version of the game before jumping into the gameplay, would like to thank Keymailer and Xbox for providing me with a free monthly subscription of PC Game Pass. This subscription gives us access to hundreds of games. We can play these games for as long as we want until our subscription expires. Games from first party Microsoft Studio and even third party studios are available on PC Game Pass. Even EA Play membership is included. In India, Microsoft even supports UPI mode of payment. We'll be using OptiScaler's latest preview for version 0.9.02025092 build available on OptiScaler's Discord server. We'll give the link to their Discord in the description. Click on the dot 7G link here. FSI SDK was leaked a couple of months ago. It included files corresponding to the intake version of FSR 4 OptiScaler. These files could be used to compile an FSR 4 DLL. Big thanks to Reddit user Athlete Dependent 926 for doing this and sharing the file with the community. Just click on the Go file link here. From this page, you need to download AMD Fidelity FX Subscaler DX12.tll file. Click on Download next to it. The download will start. Now I'll show you the mod setup process. Open OptiScaler's archive file. Select the highlighted files OptiScaler.ini, OptiScaler.tll. Leave xcss underscore fg.tll xcss frame gen file dx11 version of xcss super resolution not required Leave xcss.tll file xcss super resolution for Vulkan and dx12 APIs Leave xcll.tll file xcss low latency mode file fake nv api.ini fake nv api.tll fake nv api will replace the in-game reflex implementation with either xcss low latency mode or reflex depending on the frame generation technique we use Newcom 9 mod not using Vulkan version of Fidelity FX not required to select all of the DX12 versions of Fidelity FX files. 10 files selected, right click, copy, open Xbox PC app, go to your library, select Forza Motorsport, click on the three dots here, click on manage, click on files, click on browse, open the games install folder, open content folder paste the files here now just need to change the name of optiscaler.tll file to d3d12.tll would not recommend using optiscaler mod when playing the game in online mode now just open optiscaler.ini file need to disable one setting scroll down until you find input section from here just set enable FSR2 inputs to false otherwise the game will crash at startup. Click on file, click on save, close. Now I'll be installing the intake version of FSR4 upscaler. Just copy its AMD Fidelity upscaler dx12.tll file which you download from Reddit. Need to paste it in the games install directory where you install OptiScaler mod content folder right here. Replace the existing file, replace, and we are done. Adrenaline settings for the game freezing, freezing on. I have set the UMA buffer size to 5 GB. My LS running on BIOS version 342. Install LS latest official GPU driver that I had support for. Battlefield 6 using a 25 watts manual profile. All three power values set at 25 watts. 900p resolution CPU boost disabled. Connected my FlyDG Vader 4 Pro controller to LR via Bluetooth mode X input controller. We'll be using Afterburner and RTSS to show you the performance stats. I'll just open RTSS. Click on Setup here. Scroll down to the end and make sure Enable Frame Rate Limiter and Inject NVIDIA Reflex Latency Marker settings are disabled. Enable Use Microsoft D2's API Hooking setting. 
launch the game. In game settings, dynamic render quality set to medium, dynamic optimization, custom, full screen mode on, resolution 900p. DLSS setting, it got unlocked using the upscalers balance preset, apply. Graphics section, most of the settings set to medium. Make sure performance target is set to unlocked. Mesotropic filtering 8 times, retracing, it's off. Scroll down, medium settings. Motion blur disabled, motion blur quality and motion blur in cockpit. Lens flare disabled as well, apply. Start a free play event. I'll select the track Hakone, my vehicle, Porsche 911. The race is about to start. Just open OptiScale and menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. Increase the menu size. Click on the drop down bar next to menu UI scale. Set the value to 1.1. Upscaler XCSS version 2.0.2. .2. Input in game DLSS upscaler. DHS spoofing on. Auto expert setting on. I'll switch to FSR for upscaler. Click on the drop down bar next to change upscaler. The driver behind me is stuck. Select FSR 3.x as the option. Click on change upscaler again. Yeah, in date version of FSR 4 upscaler is selected. Model setting set to default. It automatically selected model 2 for me, which corresponds to the in game upscaler's balance preset. Correct. No frame generation selected. I'll enable OptiScaler's performance overlay. Expand FPS overlay section. Check the setting FPS overlay enable full plus graph. Scale 1.3, base resolution. 941 by 529 pixels upscale to 900p resolution. Save when I close. I'll just restart the race. 23 racers in this race. Okay, we are getting around 34 FPS. Yeah, the animation quality is looking a bit choppy. We are outside LS VRR range. This will make it easier for us to gauge the smoothing effect of either frame generation technique. VRM usage is around 4.1 GB. Look at that image quality. So sharp, so clean. This is amazing. Temporal upscaling in this game produces some coasting around a fast moving vehicle's bumper. FSR frame generation makes this coasting effect more noticeable, more aggressive. This is not true in the case of XSS frame gen. It's very difficult to observe this coasting effect on LS small display. It's the night time as well. It's raining see the water droplet effect yeah so 32 to 37 fps without frame generation i'll just change the cockpit bigger point change the camera perspective switch to cockpit view getting better performance now fps increased to around 46 i'm not observing any graphical artifacts excellent results produced by fsr 4 upscaler now i'll show you how to enable FSR frame generation first. Just open OptiScaler menu. Click on the drop down bar next to FG source and select DLSS UI Streamline as the option. Click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select FSR FG as the option. Save INI, close. Restart the game. Now, in order to get anti lag 2 or XCSS low latency mode working in this game, we need to enable the in game DLSS frame generation setting via the game's configuration file. Its location is different for Steam and Game Pass versions of the game. As I am running the latter, we'll be using this directory. Just copy it. I have highlighted the directory. Right click copy. If you want the Steam version, copy this directory. Just open File Explorer. Paste the game directory here. Hit enter. This directory will open up. You need to open this file. User config selections using notepad. Here look for a line name DLSSG enabled value by default it's set to 0 and just change it to 1.00000 basically change it from 0 to 1 file save close we are ready to run the game once the game loads up just open OptiScaler menu and check the setting active under frame generation FSR FG Current streamline FG state on, the FPS increased to around 65. But if you check the FSR frame gen debug view, display won't be working properly for the bottom right image, and this is why the game's HUD elements will flicker. 
disable the debug view current method mention anti lag to i'll enable anti lag to latency monitor press its hotkey combo alt shift and l keep pressing the combo to cycle through the different display options yeah anti lag to is working you can see the real time latency value animation quality is looking smoother than before 60 to 65 fps with fsr frame gen oh my god look at the games hard elements flickering aggressively and very ugly ghosting is produced around the vehicle's bumper so not recommended to use fsr frame gen in this game due to this reason show you how to switch to xcss frame gen just open optics scale menu disable fsr frame gen uncheck active setting make sure dlss gui streamline is selected as the frame generation source click on the drop down bar next to fg output and select xcfg as the option say bye now close exit the game play once the game loads up open optics scale menu check the setting active under frame generation xcfg the frame time graph will become thick like this xcss frame gen debug view you will see these purple side bars if xcss frame gen is working and just restart the race under frame rate section current method mention should be xcln xcss low latency mode this is about to start just observe the games hard elements should not be flickering see so xcss frame gen is working properly in forza motorsport ui text not flickering as well here fps is within a range of 55 to 60 can observe the added amount of smoothness you can improve the performance further by dropping the resolution to 720p or dropping the graphics preset to low it's up to you switch to cockpit view just observe the steering wheel and the left stick they are moving in sync latency is not an issue xcss frame gen is definitely usable but i would not recommend playing the game in online mode with the mod installed if i am not wrong in games multiplayer mode has an fps cap of 60 you can go past 60 fps using frame gen that's it with the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day